I think the whole footy world was stunned at quarter time when they were uh, six or seven goals in front, Michael. They got reeled in. They did. I thought they were certainly sport when they made up the deficit, got back to square yeah. at Amy Stadium. And then, to their credit, the Dockers kicked away and won. And I think in six weeks' time, Wolsey, we may say that Mark Harvey was on the money when he said, he said his team's going to be dangerous in the latter stages well, of the Well, they're season. on the money by forcing or asking older players to retire and get out. Mm. Because well, the, that's been long overdue. The announcement was made today that Sean McManus will play his last game uh, in the Derby on the weekend. And I think also the experimentation with Jeff Farmer up the ground, Mike, indicates to me that they're just having a look at him as to whether or not he's got a future as a midfielder, giving them some run which they sadly miss. True. Before we go to Farmer, before we leave Sean McManus, he's got his deficiency, Sean McManus, but he's been a great contributor to this footy club. I think he's been a great clubman, Mike. Yeah. I think everyone over there respects and likes him because one of the, I think the last of the original, Correct. of the original yep. list going back to 95, so you know he's, he's given a major part of his two life knees. to that team. He's had two yeah. knee reconstructions in that time. He doesn't kick it as well as some, Jared, but you know that you're going to get commitment from McManus. Would you keep Jeff Farmer? No, I wouldn't. No. What about if he proved to you in the next six weeks that he could hold down a midfield, even a half-back flank, create and give some run If he needs down. to get to 30-plus to convince me of that, Jared, I think it's too late. Robert? Absolutely not. Go on. Go on. Well, there he is. He's uh, creating, and I think he would it's start a, to get the, I guess, the vibe that the old players are on the way out, and he's got oh, a bit of work to do. He's late picking up the vibe, Jared. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, his best has been really good, but there's too many disappointing aspects to, to his career, and I think at 30, 31, this club has fallen completely away. They've just got to throw all of their hope into younger players over the next three seasons. Kangaroos might